Good morning, children. Good morning, father. So you heard the story of Daniel and Susanna yesterday. Did you like it? Yes, yes father. father. <laughs> and today I'm going to tell you the story of Esther. Now listen carefully. In the land of Susa, the capital of Persian Empire, there lived an exiled Jew named Mordecai. He was a kind man who was faithful to God. One day, oh, oh, oh. that was a scary dream. Hmm. Let me take a walk and I will go to sleep later. Huh? Aren't they king's gods? What are they doing here at this time? The king is going to die tomorrow. <laughs> what? Look at this. This is a powerful poison. I will mix this in his breakfast tomorrow and he will be dead in no time. Brilliant. Just make sure that no one sees you. I will take care of that. You can go and inform our master that his enemy will be no more. <laughs> I will, and he will be very pleased to hear this. He had been waiting for so long. All right then, I will see you tomorrow. They are planning to poison the king. They must be stopped somehow. I will inform this to the king right away. Mordecai informed about their plot to the king Ahasuerus. The king gave orders to arrest them immediately. Take these men and hang them tomorrow at the city gates. Let people see how we punished the traitors. Take them away. Mordecai, I thank you for your service. I would have been dead tomorrow if not for your help. It was my duty to inform you, my lord. Minister. Yes, sir. Mordecai shall be granted ten talents of gold. He need not pay taxes for the rest of his life. Do you hear me? Yes, my lord. Ten talents of gold and lifetime extension from paying taxes. Hmm. Write this order in a tablet and keep it in the archives. Yes, my lord. But no one knew that it was Haman, one of King's advisor, who had sent the guards to kill him. You fool. It was me who sent them. You ruined my plans and you killed my servants. You will pay for this with your life. Just wait and watch. After some time, King Ahasuerus decided that he needed a new wife. He sent his soldiers across the nation searching for suitable maidens. Anyone interested in becoming the next queen should be ready tomorrow. You will be taken to the palace for training and selection. Hmm. Next queen, huh? I will ask Esther to go. Mordecai had a young niece named Esther. She had lost her parents when she was a child. And Mordecai had brought her up like his own child. Esther was very beautiful and she was devoted to God. Why are you so late today? King's messengers were in town. They are searching for a new queen. New queen? Yes. Esther, King's men will come tomorrow to select the queen. You must go with them. What? But, uh, but we are Jews. Will the king accept a Jewish woman? Don't worry. They are not bothered by race and religion. But I'm scared. Fear not, my child. The Lord is with you. He will protect you. All right, father. Let it be according to his will. And the next morning, the king's men came to collect Esther. Remember, my child, you should never forget your people when you are blessed. I will, father. I shall always be grateful. God, 
please protect her. Many beautiful girls were selected from various parts of the empire and brought to the palace. Esther was one among them. Thank you all for coming. You can consider yourselves very lucky to be among the selected few. In a few days time, one among you will be selected to become the next queen. There are so many of them. Each day, one among them were taken to the king. But king rejected each of them for various reasons. Finally, it was the turn of Esther to be presented to the king. Sir, I'm so afraid. Am I dressed properly? Should I put on any ornaments? Don't worry, dear. You are beautiful without any ornaments. I'm sure the king is going to like you. What is your name, lady? My name is Esther, my lord. Hmm. Come closer. Don't be afraid. You're so beautiful, Esther. Where do you come from? I'm from Susa, my lord. Hmm. I like you, Esther. I have decided to marry you and make you my queen. Thank you, your majesty. I, I'm so happy. Out of the hundreds of women taken to the palace, the king selected Esther. They were married in a few days. In the meantime, Haman was made the minister. Haman, the wisest of all men and our most trusted servant, is appointed today as the Prime Minister. He shall be the third most powerful person in the Empire. Thank you, my lord. From today, all of you must honor and obey Haman. <laughs> I am closer to becoming the next king, you fool. As years passed, Haman's pride and arrogance increased with his power. People had to bow down to him whenever he passed by. Long live Haman! Long live Haman! Hey, look! It's Haman! Come on! Bow down! Quick! Mordecai, kneel down! No, I will not! Ha! Huh. How dare he keep standing? I'll make him pay for his arrogance! Mordecai, what were you thinking? Don't you know that you are supposed to bow down to him? I shall bend my knees before no one but the Almighty God. Did you notice how the Mordecai insulted me today? Yes, we have been watching it for a long time. He's a Jew, and only the Jews are haughty people. It's high time that we teach him a lesson. You are the most powerful man in the empire after the king. Are you saying that you can't do anything against him? Hmm. You know that the Queen Esther is Mordecai's niece. If he finds that we are making plans to hurt the Jews, then he will inform the Queen and she will in turn to the king. We must turn the king against the Jews by speaking ill of them. Hmm. You are right. I shall speak to the king today itself. Haman made an evil plan to destroy the Israelites in his kingdom, and he went to meet the king. What is it, Haman? Your majesty, there is a wicked religious group scattered all over the empire. They do not obey the royal commands, and their customs are different from ours. Huh? They are dangerous people. I have come to know that they have conspired against you. How dare they? Find out who they are and kill them all. You can do whatever you think is right. Thank you, my lord. I shall make a list of these people and send out the orders today itself. <laughs> I have tricked him. And as per the king's orders, the announcement was made to the people of Babylon. Haman decided to kill the Jews by casting lots. 
on the 13th day of the first month of the 13th year of Ahasuerus reign, a royal proclamation was made all over the Persian Empire. Command of the Divine Emperor Ahasuerus, it is our desire that all our subjects must have peace and prosperity. But we have learned that there is a group of people who under the pretext of religious regulations refuse to obey our laws. They are a threat to the peace and stability of the empire. Our wise and devout minister Haman has prepared a list of all of these wicked people. They will be put to death and here are their names. In deep sorrow, the Jews put on sackcloths and prayed to the Lord. On day when Esther was passing by, she saw Mordecai and she sent a person to him. Queen Esther sent me. What happened to you? Here, take these new clothes and wear them. This is not the time to wear silk clothes. Our lives are in danger. Here, please give the scroll to the queen. Esther, remember the days I brought you up. Pray to the Lord and speak to the king and save our lives. Haman is going to get us all killed. Huh, what shall I do? I can't go to the king unless he calls me. He will kill me if I disobey. But he haven't called me for more than a month now. No, I'm not going to sit here and do nothing. I must do anything to save my people. Did you call me, madam? Yes. You should go to Mordecai and ask all the Jews in Susa to fast and pray for three days. But what are you going to do after that? After that, I'm going to meet the king. But he will punish you if you go just like that. I'm ready to lose my life for the sake of my people. Esther gathered all her courage and went to meet the king. What is she doing here? Queen Esther? But the king didn't get angry, and in fact, he was happy that Esther came to see herself. Queen Esther, you took a great risk by coming here without my permission. Don't worry, I'm glad you did this. Come on, tell me what you wish for. I shall give you anything you desire. I... I have a request. What is it? I want to prepare a dinner for you, and I want you to come to my place today. That's all? Ha 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 ha! It'll be my pleasure, darling. Is there anything else you wish for? Yes. I would be really obliged if you can be joined by our minister, Haman. Huh? Of course. Why not? Can you join us, Haman? Of course, my lord. With pleasure. That's all I want, my lord. Now, I'll go and start the preparations. Hmm. <laughs> The queen seems to have great respect for me, and she is so eager to please me. But that night, the king couldn't sleep for some reasons, and he decided to go through the chronicles. Hmm, those were interesting times. Huh? Mordecai? My friend? I'm still alive only because of you, my friend. I'm sorry that I couldn't see you after that day. But I can't remember what reward I gave him. God! Yes, my lord? What present did we give to Mordecai for saving my life? But, but, we gave him nothing so far, my lord. What? Even after ten years? How could we not reward him for such a great service? My lord, Minister Haman is here to meet you. Haman? All right, I'm coming. Haman came to the king to give him the list of people whom he wanted killed. The name of Mordecai was also present in this list. Haman! My lord, 
I came here to give you the list of people who we are going to hang tomorrow. That can't wait. I'm glad you came, Haman. I need your advice on something. Ask me, my lord. What should be the ideal gift to a person who I wish to honor? <laughs> Maybe it's me he plans to honor. The queen must have put in a good word about me. <laughs> hmm, hmm. Dress him in purple and let him ride on the king's horse through the city. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to be parading the city. Very good. You must do what you told to Mordecai. Huh? But? Yes, we failed to honor him for his service all this while. What you said is the right reward for him. Thank you, my friend. Oh no! Mordecai! The next day, Mordecai was taken through the city riding on the king's horse. He wore purple robes and the guards accompanied him. Look, that's Mordecai. Mordecai. That night, King and Haman arrived at Queen Esther's palace for the dinner. Hmm. This was a good dinner, dear. Thank you, my king. You can ask for anything, Esther. I would give you even half of the empire. My lord? My lord? Come on, go ahead and ask it. If it pleases your majesty, then you can save my life. What are you saying, dear? What's going on? I belong to the people who are on the list to be killed. We are all going to die, unless you help us. Even Mordecai whom you honor today is going to be killed but how who dared to do this who is that wicked man it's him haman sitting right there no my lord i did nothing gods arrest him please i'm sorry my lord don't kill me i'm sorry dear for what happened i will never allow anyone to harm your people the next day King summoned Mordecai to the court. Mordecai in place of that wicked Haman? I hereby appoint you as the prime minister. In the matter of the Jews, do as you please and you can change the laws as required. Thank you. Once Mordecai became the minister, he gave out orders to cancel all the laws that the evil Haman had ordered. So, did you like the story? Yes, yes father. father. Hmm. So, are you ready for the questions? Yes, yes father. father. Where did Esther and Mordecai live? They lived in Susa, the capital of Persian Empire. And how were they related to each other? Esther was the niece of Mordecai. She had lost her parents at a young age and Mordecai took care of her. Why was Haman angry with Mordecai? Mordecai refused to bow before Haman, even though he was a minister. This made Haman angry at Mordecai. Very good, George. And for the last question, who exposed Haman's plan to the king? It was Esther. She called the king and Haman for dinner. And she told king the truth about Haman. Very good, George. That's all for today. Children, from tomorrow we will start with the stories from New Testament. So don't be late and come promptly to the class tomorrow. Thank you, Father.